G'day and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I wanna show you how you can master the incredibly simple across the body stretch. I wanna to talk to you about why this is a really important and vital exercise to practice. But I also wanna show you some scalable variations so that if this does feel a little bit too easy or too hard, you have another option that you can do to make this the most effective exercise possible for you and your symptoms. And if you've been a follower of the channel recently, you'll notice that this is the third video in a series of videos that I wanna to put together that covers the most important and helpful exercises that I've come to understand as a physiotherapist to not only help you conquer pain, but to also improve the function and the performance of those areas. Because if if you don't have a sore shoulder at the moment, but you are someone who struggles to get your arms above your head, we'd like to improve how well you throw a ball or swing a golf club, then improving the ability of the muscle associated with this stretch can go a long way in returning that optimal function to your shoulder once again. So before we dive into the most effective way to do the across the body stretch, it's really important that we talk about why it's just such an important exercise for you to do. Much like the couch stretch and the glute stretches that we've already gone through in this series, the across the body stretch goes after a very commonly tight and a hidden tightness that you may not necessarily realize that you have, consistently acting on your shoulder function and your shoulder tissue. The idea here is that if you are someone who spends any amount of time in a sitting position and you feel like your shoulders tend to drop and roll forwards, the weight of the arm under gravity is constantly hanging off and tensioning up the tissue at the back of the shoulder of which the across the body stretch targets. And the reason why this is so important, and if you've been a follower of the channel, you might already understand this, is that if you've developed tightness at the back of your shoulder, it severely compromises our ability to internally rotate that shoulder without compromising and compensating our shoulder posture. Ideally, you should be able to keep your shoulder back and rotate your arm down somewhere close to 90 degrees. But if the back of your shoulder is tight and you can only get 30% of the weight there in order to complete the task your body has to dump that shoulder forwards to provide you the range of motion that you need to achieve that task so if you're someone that does anything where you push and pull consistently or you're using your shoulder if that shoulder has a propensity to dump forwards into an anteriorly tilted position then that fundamentally changes the way that you load up every structure in your shoulder from your bursa to your bicep tendon to your rotator cuff to your ac joint and anything else in that area so again it's really important that you have an effective strategy to help you buffer that tightness better especially if that tightness is contributing to your shoulder pain but also to shoulder dysfunction and poor shoulder performance so getting into things the across the body stretch is often just as genuinely simple as pulling your arm across your body but there are a couple of little nuances to pay attention to to get the most out of this and to decrease the risk that you might make a sore shoulder worse. So what I tell my patients is we wanna make sure that you don't just go straight across the front of your body. You wanna make sure that you pull your shoulders back first into a good posture, try and keep it there as you pull that arm across. What this will do is it'll increase the tension and it'll improve your ability to find some comfortable tightness at the back of that shoulder. And it may decrease the ability for you to jam up the front of that shoulder and particularly make some of those tissues a little bit grumpy. But ultimately with your shoulders back and your arms straight, you can use your opposite arm to help pull that into a position that does give you the best version of that tightness. From here, what you can also do is you can pull your arm down a little bit or pull your arm up a little bit. Again, looking for the best expression of that tightness for you. And like we've done with the previous exercises in this series, it's important to recognize that it's not enough to just hold this position for 30 seconds and hope for the best. It doesn't do what we've expected it to do and it's not the most effective way to stretch. You may know that that PNF or contract relax stretching is far more effective. And what we wanna do with that is once you've found the best version of your tightness, we wanna find a way to activate or tense that same tightness, which creates a reflex that gets your brain involved so that when you stop tensing or activating that tissue, it will give. So how that looks is that I've found a spot here for me. I wanna tense up the back of my shoulder by pushing my extended arm into my bent forearm. I wanna hold that for about five to 10 seconds. And then when I stop tensing while maintaining this position, that tissue now feels instantly that little bit looser. So I feel like I can go a little bit further into the stretch than what I could before. And then I just wanna keep repeating that process of tensing that muscle pushing back into this hand for five to 10 seconds so that when I give, it'll give, and I can go further into that stretch again. 
And then what we want to see is that you should instantly feel like the back of that shoulder is a little bit looser in terms of internal rotation or just general shoulder range of motion than what it was before you did the exercise. And depending on how that just felt for you, if it did seem a little bit too aggressive, here's how to regress that a little bit so that you can get your foot in the door. So if you did find that that introductory across the body stretch was a little bit too brutal for your shoulder, then we can regress it a little bit and make it a little bit more comfortable by using a lacrosse ball. So we still wanna find ways to access and release some of the tightness at the back of your shoulder. Using a ball, we can place that ball into that exact area and then lean into the wall. Now you do wanna hug yourself a little bit to again, get your arm out of the way. It's not as an aggressive position as the across the body stretch, but all we're looking to do is to move the ball around until you find something that feels tight, thick, possibly tender, but ultimately we're looking for those harder restricted spots in your shoulder. Because again, you may not have any obvious pain at the back of your shoulder walking around day to day, but you may have accrued some hidden dysfunction through here that you didn't realize until you go looking for it. So it's the same idea. Once you've found something that feels a little bit tight, we're going to try and tense that muscle up underneath to get it to work. Hold it for five to 10 seconds. Again, when you let go, you might find that the ball sinks in a little bit deeper than before. It may feel a little bit less tender than it did before as well. And then again, you should find that it may then be easier for you to get into the across the body stretch position than it did before. And if you've found that over a couple of days that that does allow you to get into that across the body stretch a little bit more easily, and you then feel like the across the body stretch itself becomes quite easy for you, we then wanna give you a version of this that ramps up the stretch to make sure that those that have better shoulder function can still get a lot out of this exercise. So if you've been doing the across the body stretch and it's potentially helpful for you, and you want a couple of strategies to ramp that up a little bit more, I have two more options for you to try. Now this first one can be quite brutal depending on how it feels so I only want you to give this a go if you feel very very comfortable doing the original version of the across the body stretch because how it looks is instead of being in this position if we get you to also turn your thumb down in this position what we're doing here is we're creating more internal rotation of the arm which is opening up the back of that shoulder a little bit more now the reason why this is a version of the stretch that you need to work up to is because this this position for me as a physiotherapist is an impingement test. So if your shoulder is jamming up and it's getting irritated and annoyed, putting it in this closed end range position can do a very good job of irritating and annoying shoulder tissue. So it's not until you've developed a bunch of mobility through the back of the shoulder that you may then need to challenge that further by downwardly rotating that arm and doing the same exercise as before. So again, if you turn your thumb down before you get to that end range, then making sure your shoulders are back, pull that arm across as far as you feel comfortable. And for me, I can sort of get to there. And then from here again, push back into that area, make it work for five to 10 seconds again. When you give, it'll relax. You should be able to go that little bit further again. Now, once you come out of this and relax, just make sure that none of the tissue in your shoulder are feeling annoyed because of that. If they do, you may not be getting the benefit of this stretch that you may be able to get eventually if you haven't worked your way up through the ball or the general across the body stretch. And then the final version that we can go through once you've ticked off those other ones is we can start to incorporate the use of a band to go after the underlying joint capsular restrictions. So the great thing about power bands is you can place your shoulder into the band and stretch it out as far as you feel comfortable because the band is asking your shoulder joints to translate backwards and bias the tissue at the back of that joint. We wanna make sure that you're sort of facing at about a 45 degree angle, but same thing, shoulders back, tension on the band, pulling that arm across as far as you feel comfortable, finding where you feel that tightness is. And interestingly for me with the band here, here, that position feels the most genuinely tight for me. Same deal again, just want you to push back into that, that arm, make the tissue at the back of your shoulder work for five to 10 seconds. When you relax, it'll give. You might find that you need to go hunting around for the next version of that stretch and then push back against that again to keep that process happening. And then again, once you've come out of that, you'll hopefully feel that again, those shoulders themselves are a little bit looser and a bit more mobile and hopefully either less painful or performing better than what it was before. <clears throat> so as always, I genuinely hope that these videos are helpful for you. 
please set a high standard. If you are genuinely taking the time out of your busy schedule to work on the health and function of your body, you deserve to see change and you deserve to see results. So please hold me to this. If you are taking the time to do the across the body stretch, you deserve to instantly feel looser, especially through the back of the shoulder than you did before. You shouldn't have to guess whether it's helpful. You shouldn't have to trust me that it is helpful. You need to see those results for yourself because if you can, and you can relate it back to some of the shapes and postures that you might be unknowingly getting into throughout the day, if you can also correct some of those shapes a little bit more, then the across the body stretch is not one exercise that you'll have to keep doing indefinitely. But as I said, I do hope that that was helpful. If it was, please let me know by leaving a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more of these videos that'll be coming up in the future. But ultimately, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.